take down the new UAVs. Everyone's Take saluting the dog in the cockpit as it goes past on the aircraft back. carrier. Let me know what you saw. <laughs> Let me see that. Trigger, wish I could have flown with you. A dinged up plane and an injured pilot would only slow you down. I feel for him now. Take care. Whatever happens, it ends here. The outcome's mostly up to him. Oh, this is the guy. Oh, yeah. He's the one who took off just now. Christ. We got quite a few illusions with us. Salt. They're sticking around, too. I don't care what country anyone's from. What counts is knowing who the real enemy is. Right, guys? Affirmative. And I think everybody here knows the score. We all know who to follow. Commence mission. All aircraft, follow trigger. Roger that. Understood. All right. Roger. The space elevator is able to broadcast and communicate. Look at the move. Information infrastructure down. It's the only place capable of wide area data transmission. Look at that movement. Are waiting for it to power up again. Clever little bastards. Go into the long cast. UAV is confirmed in direction of travel. Engaging the abandoned. I gotta move like them. Converge on Skull Squadron. Surround and shoot them down. Rider 3, copy. Let's do it, Hushin. Okay, let's do it. UAV reacting. Damn, they're fast. All aircraft stay sharp. Intercept now. Last time I met you in the F-15 drones, I got better. I've been overdoing it, stalling. Which one was I on, Hugan? I'm losing him in the clouds. Target. That's not the one I'm focusing. That is. There we go. One down. One down. Target is losing altitude rapidly. That enemy is flying from the way from it. I saw it myself. Three strikes is a real two. Let's play around. Soul two. Evade. Evade. Just like me. Soul two. I got you! Latch on and don't let go. An opening 
Picture for humans and dogs. Another one. What? It's just like a human being that trigger shot down at Volcano Rest. Is that the prototype that Wiseman was talking about? Me. What's the warning? He's not even looking at me. How could it be locking me? Enemy on your rear. He did my role. Count did the same role as me. That was definitely the most intense thing I've ever been in. I can't wait to tell my son about it. You're doing this on purpose, Jaeger. The space elevator is just powered up. Looks like we made it in just the nick of time. Fortunately, you've provided data that may have included Trigger's flying style from leaking. I've got a special bottle of wine for occasions like this. What do you say we open it? Phase three! She's right. I see something on the radar. The UAV is alive and kicking. They always make you fly the for the fucking tunnel. The undersea tunnel. That tunnel leads to the space. No! They always make you do this! There's enough space for him to turn beneath the elevator. That's a suicide mission! Where's the tunnel? Where are you going? We rely on Trigger too much. He's no. gonna help. You can't be serious, Count. Yeah, well, you had no problem with Trigger doing the same thing. Trigger's different. We'll see. You damn fool. Caution. Come around again. Don't worry. I learned something from my last squadron. Stick with Trigger. You'll make it. Caution. Pull up. Oh, God. Count, give me your status. Alive. Excellent. So you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. It'll take a short time for the drone to send over the data. You need to destroy it as fast as you can. There it is. UAV spotted. We finally found it.
Don't worry, I'll think of something. I'll find us a way out. No sign of the drone. Did it take another path? Doesn't matter. We know where it's going. Let's slow down. Catch it. But I can't go too slow or it shuts on me. Count land. Uh oh, that's quite the problem. It appears I can't get any more thrust. The drone is turning. It'll send its payload. Shoot it down, trigger. What the hell is this? I need I can't even see. Oh. How the fuck? Column. That'll lead inside the windbreak. How? The red light. Okay, I see. Hit the thrust! I wanted to wait until I had less fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Oh fuck, obstacles, it's not over, god now, damn it. Baby, stay with me just a bit more. <laughs> Return to radar. I did it! That's our trigger! He's a damn hero! <laughs> no doubt. You're better than me. Where's Strider 2? He's still in there. Does anyone have eyes on count? Wish y'all could have seen that. <laughs> you damn fool. What's your position? Watching Trigger climb. I guess it's my fate to watch from down below. Yeah, well, we're all in the same boat there. Yeah, well, I guess we are. We're sending help. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation is minus 500 meters. Minus? Trigger, hey, where are you Trigger. going? You dumbass. Trigger's going to space! Something. What color's the sky up there? Wait, what was that transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase. What? Spaceship Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. Space combat? And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it. Over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. Fuck!
men and women, and those who lie betwixt and dogs, are the true inhabitants of the cockpit. To skies unknown, the path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad. Ah. The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. We, we hope there's supplies. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. Jesus! I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. That's a line. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us too. He lived? I never wanted to create anything, but now, now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future. Of course for he lived. Who would crash world. land better than this case? Is this my punishment then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. Oh. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old That age. president! Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. Dark blue. To the heavens and beyond. I told you it was an XCOM sequel, Skies Unknown. It really was about going to space. Skies of in, that's when you get to have mech pilots. Trigger gets cybernetic augmentations. Eiffel Space Tower. <sighs> in the sequel, everyone starts looking at you in the cutscenes, and you being a dog gets directly addressed, and it's weird. That was a great campaign. I really liked that. That was awesome. Ace Combat is just a game that is just built to make you feel cool. It's just a cool game. Ace Combat is just like being the star of the most anime fucking jet plot and you never want to crash like you're not playing Iron Man but you never want to crash because that makes you less cool but then you forget like five seconds after you respawn because the atmosphere is just so good any plans to play on Ace? Oh, I could do another run through sometime maybe I don't know I don't know if I do guns only That'd be hell to watch on stream. Maybe, maybe sometime. Not right now. That was good. I feel good about that campaign. I'd rather 
If you can play a mouse and keyboard, I'd rather play the other Ace Combats. Hopefully one day they get ported or their emulator or something for mouse and keyboard. I'd love to play the other Ace Combats. I'd love to run through them all. I've heard so much about AC0 and AC5. You can play with mouse and keyboard already? They're already emulated? Nice. I might have to... Mouse and keyboard's my thing, so if I can do that with them, I might have to give them a go. I want to meet Pixie. That was really good. They always make you fly through a tunnel at the end. Always. Every single time you have to go through a, a shaft or a tunnel at the end. This one was crazy. I say every single time, but I only played AC6, so you're right. I guess it's more that... I mean, by every single time, I mean that AC6 has the same missions as this, and then... Assault Rise didn't have a tunnel, because Assault Rise was based on the real world. In AC6, they just want you to fly down the, uh, the shaft for the railgun. It's a lot easier than this one. This one is like... <laughs> pick the right door as it's closing. That almost fucked me on the first time, I didn't see it coming. And I, I almost panicked and fucked up. That's why I always had to fly through the tunnels whenever I saw them in, in the single player campaign when it was unnecessary. Because it's training. Because you know eventually it's going to come down to it. You're going to have to go through a tunnel. And it's going to be ride or die. So you've got to practice the tunnel thing before you get to the last mission. <laughs> I didn't understand why I was shooting the things that weren't the drone inside there. I guess if I killed the drone first it was going to tell me, but I didn't think I'd have the time to do passes on the drone and get the objective, so I decided with only 30 seconds. Trigger had to think fast, so I decided that I would do a rotation getting all the objectives while hitting the drone when it passed me. And it worked out. What are you going to play now? I'm going to play some multiplayer of this, I think, for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow I'm going to play Wargroove, if you're interested in that game. Another game where I'm going to try to become a dog. I've seen a dog leader. There's like a, a dog royal guard leader in... It's not even like a like a like an anthropomorphize. It's just a dog. I'm gonna try to unlock that character tomorrow. I think that canyon mission was the wildest shit. That's why I crashed twice. And the first time was... Well, I didn't crash twice. The first time was I fucked up. I didn't listen to the briefing about the altimeter. The second time... I, it definitely got me on that corner. The, the, the trench run in this campaign was pretty hard. Yeah, there's the emote! Kitten's got it! There's the dog right there. Oh, that was awesome. I really love that from start to finish. No disappointments. I don't think I had a bad thing to say about the game the whole way through. No disappointments. The, yeah, I, I don't blame the briefings. The only reason I had to... I mess up sometimes, it's because I'm streaming and I was talking and making jokes, so sometimes I miss the briefings because I didn't pay enough attention to them. But yeah, there's definitely important info in the briefings that you want to listen to. No, I loved it. This was really good. Really good. I really, really liked it. Now, I wonder how hard this campaign would have been without lasers. The drones might have been easier with quick uh, with uh, quams. I like doing it with lasers though, because fighting all the drones and, and Mihaly with the- I got them with the missiles a few times to be fair. But fighting them with the guns and lasers felt very, very Sky Knights, a lot of jousting. One of the drones, I literally did like a head-on joust with the lasers and the, the, mis uh, and the guns, and it took me to 50% damage on that joust, but it blew up, it was awesome. No lasers run. Yeah, I think if I ever did the campaign again, I wouldn't use lasers, because we've already done a laser run. 
Whatever I do use. Maybe I'd have to do a missile run. I don't know about all guns run. Ace level. That was just a tutorial. We're gonna have to do a run through an ace at some point. Ace about the lasers would be really fucking hard. Because it's getting harder because you're not using the lasers and then you're doing it on ace, so it's even harder. Feels like missiles are more useful in some situations, lasers better than others. Lasers are just the best, like, because you can snipe things at range. Um, so they're just the most efficient, I feel, for doing damage to objectives, which is what all the missions are about. Is kidding, hitting potato pilots who aren't very good at dodging. Uh, they're not aces, they're just general pilots. And hitting, like, ground forces and objectives and shit. The lasers hit at, like, 4k. Um, and it's, like, two shots. They're really good for that. But when you actually fight the drones and the pilots, you'd rather have quick, quick anti-air missiles. I think. But it was still cool to do them with the lasers. Oh, that was fucking awesome. I really like that. What is data viewer? Aircraft viewer. Yeah, the lasers range is the, the advantage. Absolutely. You can come in for an attack run. It's, it's great for ground attack and everything because you can get a formation of pilots before they've split at 4k before they think they're in danger and you can just ambush them. Just lasers across the front. And with ground attack, it's great, because you line up, and from 4k, you can slow down and start pelting. And you can just yaw and start hitting an entire string of ground targets with the lasers. Because you don't have to wait till you get close. Oh, I'm gonna play some multiplayer. That was sick. That was really, really fun. I really love that campaign. That was awesome. Almost every mission was like, damn, that mission was so cool. 